What is up guys, Jake here with the next Vainglory video and this one is not going to be what you normally see, no gameplay, it's just going to be sort of a teaching uh, video, teaching segment and might do a series on this, just different little things like this that I, and this one I've just recently discovered or figured out or took the time to actually research and I uh, think it might help you guys in your game that are new to the game, beginner's guide, not sure what I'll label it yet, but something along those lines. So. This one is, as you can tell from the title, on upgrading your items and how that works in game. Because for me, this was actually confusing. Maybe it shouldn't have been. Maybe this was something that I should have known uh, all along and it should have been obvious, but it wasn't. So it's something that I think people have commented on my videos, like, what are you doing with your upgrades type thing? And it was justified because I don't, I really didn't understand it. But we're going to go over it today. And I think when you're done watching the video, if you're new to the game or if you're like me and just haven't researched it, uh, you will have a better understanding of it. So let's get right into it. What we're going to look at is when you're when you're starting a new game off and you start to upgrade your items, how you progress through those What's the best way to do it? Um, forget about the end item. We'll talk about that in other videos, but just how to get from point A to point B, talking about, let's say, if we want to get to Sorrow Blade on our, as, as our end line, how do we get there? We obviously know that to go to Sorrow Blade, we can just tap on Sorrow Blade. You see it's highlighted there, and it'll show the path that we can take. There's really only two paths. That's from Weapon Blade uh, to Heavy Steel or to Six Sins, and from there, both of those end up at Sorrow Blade. So... When you're doing that, to me, at least the logical thing was I would buy my weapon, my weapon blade, then I would buy, I'd wait, save up, buy my heavy steel, and then I'd wait and save up, and I would buy my sorrow blade, and that I was done. There you go. Sorrow blade accomplished. But that is by far not the best way to do it, and I'll explain. Look at the prices of these items. If I just didn't buy anything, I saved up my gold. Sor Sorrow Blade cost me 3,100 gold. However, when I buy the Weapon Blade, now Sorrow Blade cost me 2,800 gold. So you're getting an, an, a perfect exchange there. When it replaces that Weapon Blade, you are getting all of your gold back for it. If I upgrade to, let's say, Six Sins, you're going to see it drops by another 3,500 gold. So again, you're getting a you're getting all your gold back when you do that. So that being said, the best way if I'm starting right out of the gates and I say, okay, I want to rush Sorrow Blade. That's what I want to do, uh, is to buy your your weapon blade, then to upgrade that weapon blade. Let's say the six cents is the cheapest one, then to buy another weapon blade. All right, now I've got two. You see down here at the bottom, I've got two circles or spots, spaces, whatever you want to call it, taken up with uh, those two items. But however, look at the price of Sorrow Blade right now. It's dropped down the exact amount that I've spent on these. Then when I save up another 850 gold, I need to go to the store and buy it. You'll see it'll again drop another 850. I've still got the two spaces, but now when I get that 1300, I can go ahead and buy it and it will combine both of those into one spot and I have my Sorrow Blade. Now, the advantage of that should be obvious to you guys. During the time when I'm doing this, during the time when I'm upgrading, I have the weapon uh, power from, from the Six Sins. I have the weapon power from the Heavy Steel. As the fi any fights that are happening, the farming that I'm doing that time, I've got that much more weapon power than if I just, had just bought, like I normally did, bought the Heavy Steel, waited, and upgraded the Sorrow Blade, okay? So it's definitely advantageous for you to do all of your upgrades this way. And if you'll start clicking on the uh, on the inline abilities here, Sorrow Blade, for example, everything has two paths to it, all right? It doesn't matter what you're looking at. Uh, if you're looking at Serpent's Mask, same mm -hmm. thing. Heavy Steel goes to Serpent's Mask, and then going from this Book of Eulogies to Barb Needle goes to the Serpent Mask. So no matter what end line you're doing, the best, most efficient way to upgrade is to go both of those paths, upgrade to the Tier 2 items, have that benefit while you're fighting, while you're you know, farming that gold to get to that end uh, tier item, and then from there, upgrade it. Uh, if you want Breaking Point, the best way to do it is from Swift Shooter to Blazing Salvo, and from Minion's Foot to Lucky Strike, and then upgrading both of those. It will combine them to go into Breaking Point. We'll show it one more time here. I'll actually buy these items so you'll see what I'm talking about. You would buy your Swift Shooter, probably upgrade it to Blazing Salvo, then you would come back and buy your Minion's Foot, upgrade it to Lucky Strike, 
And then when you got that extra 800 gold, you would go ahead and buy your breaking point, and that's going to give you the uh, next step and, and combine those two and save your space. Again, no matter which one you're going for, they all have two paths, and it's always best to go both of those paths while you're saving up for it. Uh, let's go into the abilities. Um, same thing here, guys. No different. If you're wanting shattered glass, uh, you got you're gonna buy a crystal bit. Chris, this is a little bit different because crystal bit starts almost everything, so uh, it's easier to do that. You can buy crystal bits to have your prism. You want to get an eclipse prism, it's gonna combine the two, and you're gonna have a shattered glass when it's all said and done. Same philosophy behind it. Everything has two, and it is always better because as you are saving that gold, as you are farming it, you are gonna get the advantage of having uh, those tier one, tier two abilities uh, or items, excuse me, not abilities, items to uh, to help you as that's happening. Uh, this was a light bulb moment for me. Again, it probably shouldn't have been. It should have been something that I knew all along, uh, but it wasn't. You know, it just simply wasn't. Uh, you can do the same thing with defense. Uh, you can get your oak heart. You can grab a reflex block. You can get you another oak heart and a dragon heart, and then boom, in 500 gold, you're ready for your crucible. Oops, sorry about that, guys. You're ready for your crucible there. Uh, so you get that, it combines the two. Uh, you see each thing has two, with the exception of Metal Jacket and Atlas Pauldron. So those are a little bit different if you're going you know, against a, a melee class and you want to defend, you don't have the option of doing it that way. But pretty much everything else, obviously utility is a little bit different, but you even got some there, you know, contraption, people that are rushing contraption. It's good to go ahead and get your Storm Guard banner and then grab you an hourglass and a chronograph. You're going to get that benefit of it while you're saving up that 2,500 gold there. Um, uh, Warhorn, same thing. Shiver Steel's not, but you know, again, with a few exceptions, uh, you pretty much want to do it every time and have a plan for it, guys. Get it in your head. I know there's counter building and things like that that you don't know you're going to build, but take the extra three seconds. Let's say I'm just playing the game. Okay, I want to grab a serpent's mask. Take three seconds and look at this. Okay, I got to go barb needle. I got to go heavy steel. That's all I need to know. Okay, from then I go back. I buy whatever I want to do. I go back to farming. As soon as I come back to the store, I know what what's my next my next purchase is, and I go from there. Uh, hope this helped you guys. Let me know if you like videos like this. If you want to see more of them, just little tips, things that I've come across that. Uh, being a noob, you know, it's that light bulb moment where you're like, oh, why did I not know that before? That would have really helped me. I uh, hope you liked it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.